Hey, what is up, guys? Holmes right here, bringing you a brand new uh, Minecraft server tutorial. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own uh, Minecraft bucket server. And for those of you who don't know, bucket just enables you to uh, install plugins into your server, so you can uh, add more cool features and what else not for your players to enjoy. So let's get started out with the tutorial. So I'm just going to create a new folder and call it test server. For those of you who don't know, it really doesn't matter what you name the folder. Uh, now, in here, you're going to need three basic files. The craft bucket, I'll leave a link to where you can download the latest uh, craft bucket in the description. Minecraft server 1.6.2. Uh, you can just go to the minecraft.net and then click download. And download the .exe server file that they offer there. And then you won't, you won't have this, so I'm just going to come in here and copy all this code and delete this oh I will leave the code down in the description but what you're going to want to do to make a, a basic run file first is uh, in the folder right click new text document just name it run come in here and let me make this smaller for you guys alright so this is the basic code you'll have and um, if you have a JRE 6, just change to 7 to 6 like this, but I recommend that you have 7. And for the program files, if you have 32-bit um, windows, then just leave it like this. But if you have 64-bit windows and you don't have 64-bit Java, just do parentheses x86 parentheses, and that will go to the 32-bit um, program files folder and your C drive where uh, Java defaultly installs. So now that we have that, let's hit file, make sure you hit save as, and come down here, do all files, run, make sure the file name is still run, and then hit do dot bat, save it, you can exit out of this, and then you'll make this batch file, you can delete the uh, text document, so now come in here, double click on your minecraft server dot, or 1.6.2, You'll have this pop up. You see it, it's preparing the spawn area. And you can just wait for this to load. And it'll tell you uh, down here when it's done. Just like this, done. And then you come down here, hit do stop. And make sure you always do stop because if you just X out of it, it will not save. So now that you've hit stop, you can close out of this. Maybe. And I guess it's still saving chunks. Okay, so it's closed. And now we have this. So now uh, you uh, double click on this one first, and then now you're going to want to double click on the run so that the run file in here is going to be running the craft bucket jar file. And now whenever you download craft bucket, it's not going to be just craft bucket. You just want to right click it, rename, do craft bucket, just like so. Double click your run file, and as you see, you have all this stuff pop up. how you use preparing the spawn again and it's only this long the first time you run it because it has to make all the initial files and it'll say done so you want to type in stop again and once it's done it will say press any key to continue I just press spacebar and now you have this world nether world the end you'll have these uh, bucket.yml files help and you main uh, most importantly you have the plugins so uh, before we get into plugins, and I'll show you guys how you can install plugins, uh, I would like to uh, go into server properties and to just show you guys this. So allow nether true, this just uh, enables your players to go into the nether. Level name, that's self-explanatory, just the name of your uh, world. Enable query, I never use that. Allow flight, if you change that to true, it allows your players to... Now fly server point server port I'm sorry uh, do not change that this is the default and you're going to need to keep that for servers uh, level type default enable archon um, so server IP you can just leave that level seed you put in a seed there if you want your uh, players to spawn at a in a specific se speed seed I, I cannot talk uh, spawn in PC is true uh, and allows the server to spawn like cows, chickens, pigs, uh, villagers, and what else not. 
hardcore just enables hardcore mode so I keep it false unless you had a, a hardcore server online mode if true that um, doesn't let cracked players who use a uh, cracked minecraft on but if you put it to false that allows p people who do play with cracked minecraft to play uh, I always keep it to false or uh, true I mean so cracked players cannot get on my servers uh, PvP or uh, per player versus player uh, so they can attack each other you can put this at true and allow players to attack each other or you can change it to false difficulty one one is easy uh, two is normal and three is hard I like to keep mine at two game mode is zero for survival change that to one for um, creative I like to leave that at zero the max players just change this to whatever you want but make sure that you um, have enough RAM to support that amount of players uh, the message of the day is pretty self-explanatory also I uh, will show you real quick this is the message of the day right here a minecraft server so you just change that to whatever you want um, view distance 10 I always like to put it at 12 I don't know why so that that all looks pretty good and another thing I do want to show you guys come into your run file hit edit again and this shows how much RAM your uh, com it allows your server to use so make sure that you put it in there uh, how much RAM that your computer is actually capable of giving out I have 3 gigs because I have 8 gigs of RAM on my computer so you can just change this to whatever so now that you're done with that you can come into your plugins folder and I'm going to get um, a couple basic plugins and I'll be alright so for my plugins I just got citizens uh, 2 which uh, allows you to put custom NPCs into your server and I got the essentials mod or uh, plugins which are the uh, course of the name they are essential for your server you know, give players the uh, basic plugins for to get this just go you can either type into Google download is uh, essentials minecraft plugin or you can go to plugins plugins with an s at the end dot bucket dot com and you can search for essentials there and just download it so now that we have all this in here I'll let everybody know uh, citizens I will be doing my next couple tutorials on a citizens too so be sure to stay tuned for that just double click run again now this will take a second because it uh, has to create the basic files for new plugins and it's done so just to show you whenever you make plugins and run it for the first time they will create folders with con config files you can edit this with notepad plus plus just type download notepad plus plus into google and you can download it off of there so you can go in there and edit the um, basics and now you do have your server running so I'll hop in here and just show you that everything does work alright guys uh, this is going to be a little bit laggy because I am just uh, recording this minecraft with uh, Camtasia because I just don't feel like reopening up fraps and all that so now I did get this starter, starter, kit, starter kit that you get with essentials but uh, if you want to make sure that all your plugins are working just type in slash pl for plugins hit enter and it'll show you all the plugins that you have green obviously means it's working red means it doesn't and all my plugins seem to be working just fine but just to make sure uh, let's type in I don't know set spawn oh, I do not have access alright here's a good thing I want to show you guys go into your console or just a little uh, run a bat file that whenever you double click it opens this up and then you type in op space then the player's name put in minecrafter2018 which is my username and it says o uh, OP'd minecrafter2018 and OP'd is, is just operator for admin and let's redo this set spawn so now let's just come over here I do slash spawn and it takes me back to here another one set home so my home is back where it spawn is which is your slash home and if you were to try this without the plugins, they would not work because there are no plugins. So, guys, if this tutorial helped you in any way, I ask that you please leave a like, comment, and of, and uh, most of all, hit that subscribe button. And if it really helped you, uh, it helps me out a lot if you uh, hit that share button and the favorite button. And before I end out the video, of course, as always, check out my uh, server my main server uh, IP for that is this or it will be down in the description and also be sure to check out my website which which will be in the description as well so that guys have a nice day peace out